Woman complains patrol car is too hot during her arrest for leaving child in hot car. <laughs> ah. Good. You sit in there and think about what you've done. Hey everybody, welcome back. Today on my channel, we are looking at some entitled parents that went too far and got exposed. Parents are amazing. I love my parents dearly, very dearly. But on occasion, you know, parents they can be a little entitled, you know, especially, you know, if you go shopping with them or something and they kind of embarrass you in front of everybody by being super entitled or... I tell you, this one time, this one time, I was going to this place at the beach and there was very limited parking there and we were all lined up in the cars waiting for parking spots. We're next to get a parking spot. Someone pulls out and there's a van on the other side with a mom and her bunch of kids. And we'd been waiting there for longer than she was. So she ends up actually like pulling into the parking spot before us when we were there first. And her excuse when she got out of the car was, I've got kids in the car, I've got kids in the car. And I'm like, I, I understand that you have kids in the car and I'm sure they're probably driving you crazy. That's why I don't have kids right now. But that doesn't mean that you get to go ahead of everybody else. Like it literally doesn't. <laughs> we're like waiting in the hot sun for all the cars to go by and like waiting, waiting, waiting for like 45 minutes. And then this person just like drives in. Ugh. We ended up getting a parking spot right after that, but that was before Karens were a thing. That was about four, four years ago when Karens had not fully evolved into what they are now. But that was like, I remember that encounter and it was a Karen encounter, hell yeah. All right, let's look at some entitled parents, shall we? My mother dearest, whom my sister and I just let back into our lives, talking to my sister about her daughter, my niece, behold the kind of person she is. All right, I'm ready, let's do this. What does blank want for Christmas? Does she like Barbie still? How about the pony toys? She's not so much into the toys anymore. What about a new bike helmet? She likes playing outside. I'm not getting a little girl a helmet. Which Barbies does she have? Sent me pics. Mom, she won't play with them. I just don't want you to be upset if she doesn't like them. She can say thank you. I did not raise you to raise ungrateful brats. I didn't say she wouldn't say thank you, mom. I said she might not play with them, which is the truth. She doesn't like dolls. Please don't get her any. They will go to waste on her. If she's going to be a little bitch, <laughs> oh my God. Then Nana won't get her anything. How about that? Wonder where she got that from. I'm sorry, that was rude. What does she want? You're done. No, blank, I'm sorry, what does she want? You are a disgusting person calling a child names. If you step foot on my property again, I will call the police. This is the only time when calling the police or calling a manager is appropriate. <laughs> Well done. My overprotective Catholic mother just told me this lockdown is God's way of telling me I go out too much. Sorry everyone, this entire pandemic is my fault for not staying home, my bad. Really? So you are who we have to blame for this shit. Despicable. My daughter scored 93% in 10th, I'm very disappointed. Should I punish her? Having a parent like you is already a punishment for her. Oh jeez. I bet you anything this is really cultural though. Like Asian parents, if you get a 93%, that's not good enough, honey. You get like a 99% and they're like, the f is this? The f is this? Next time get 100. European parents too. That was fun growing up with. Things strict parents think they're teaching you. How to behave. What they actually teach you. How to listen for footsteps. How to appear busy. How to manipulate someone into calming down. How to lie on the spot. <laughs> oh yeah. For sure, man. That's hell. But I mean, like, what's the right way to do it then, you know? Like, kids are gonna rebel. It's just part of being a kid. Happy Mother's Day to the woman who called the cops on me when she didn't find me in my room sleeping in the middle of the night and thought I snuck out of the house. I was downstairs in the kitchen eating cereal and also 22. Oh, geez. You know what? It's time to move out. <laughs> 29 years old. At 29 years old, I would go and be at my parents' house for Christmas. And if I was out until three in the morning, my dad would worry about me. But living in a completely different area of the country, he doesn't worry. <laughs> How does that make sense? Because you're under their roof. That's why. I would like you to come to church with us tomorrow, please. 1030. Blank has a dress you can wear and you can stay for lunch and dinner. Sister Blank would love to see you. I can't come up there. I have to work from 10 to 7. I told you to schedule off work on Sundays. Tell your manager you won't make it. You can either come to our church or go with your roommates. Mom, I can't just tell him I won't make it. Besides, I get paid more on Sunday, so it's worth it for me to work. This isn't an argument. You're coming to church with us. I'm going to drive down and get you and you can sleep here tonight. Um, no. <laughs> 
This isn't an argument, I'm coming to get you. I want you to at least try to be active. Maybe if you actually try to pray and read the Book of Mormon, I let you decide. But until then, you're gonna come with us, okay? Mom, I'm working tomorrow. I'm gonna keep working Sundays. I've read the Book of Mormon and I prayed daily for 18 years of my life. You don't pay my rent, you don't pay my tuition, you don't pay for my insurance, and I'm an adult. So you have no say in my decisions anymore, okay? Maybe if you wanna stop acting like this, I might schedule a Sunday off in the future just to humor you. Have a good night, Mom. Pack some clothes for tomorrow. I'm coming to your apartment. Have fun trying to get in and I, I can picture her just like banging on the door. Oh goodness. Can you imagine telling your manager that you can't come to work that day because your mom's making you go to church? I can't. I can't imagine doing that. That's a, that's a surefire way to get fired. Do you think Jesus would write you a note? I'm so sorry, everybody. I'm gonna have to cancel my art raffle because my parents destroyed my art tablet. It's been smashed into pieces because I didn't get up on time this morning. <gasps> That's terrible. I can't do art now. One of the only things that I love. I can't even afford to replace it. I'm upset. That's horrible. I'm sorry. Because you didn't get up on time? There's a fly. Where are you just coming from? Like you just lay eggs everywhere and you just hatch sporadically? Like where the are you coming from, honey? My children will get privacy from me when they can pay their own bills and feed themselves. Until then, you do what I say. Ain't <laughs> negotiable. We're not friends. <laughs> I haven't spoken to my mother in 10 years. Welcome to your future. Yeah, yeah. Overbearing parents, as soon as they get out of there. <laughs> <laughs> Ever thought my mom was that insane? I guess Jesus is anti-metal straw. <laughs> Sorry if it doesn't seem serious, I can't take anything seriously. Look at how bolder I am. I bought boba metal straws. I can't believe you. I hope they haven't influenced your faith in Jesus. <laughs> what does that have to do with my faith? You're changing toward the left. How, I'm just trying to save the sea turtles. I'm just thinking of the sea turtles, mom. But the sea turtles. I hate this vent, I hate it. But then I can't be close to you. This is Javier, and he was surrendered today because his kid would not do his homework. Javier is a big friendly guy who's already a microchip neuter. Javier! Oh, look at Javier! No! I'll take him. Can I have him? Come here. Come here, boy. Come here. Yeah. Oh, look at his sad eyes! They are so sad! Ooh. No! I'm sorry, I can't even look at a dog with sad eyes without like tearing up. It makes me sad. <laughs> like actually though. Go away! I'm the kind of person to hiss at a fly. I'm not the kind of person to kill it. Like I'll trap it, <laughs> but I won't smack it. <laughs> Go away. I said to my therapist a few days ago that I feel weirdly calm with all this coronavirus stuff. Everyone's panicking and I'm not, and it's making me think I should. And he replied, that's because you were raised in chaos so you feel at home. <laughs> it's all right, I'm used to it. Everything's fine. Everything is fine. Everything's fine, it's fine. Really, everything's fine. Get out of here. Oh, there's two of you. Mmm. Makakatsufaya. So I pay $380 a week to her mother. My daughter comes to see me because she was crying. She misses me and made her own way to see me as her mom tells her she is not allowed to see me. She's 14. And this is what she comes over wearing to school. WTF. <gasps> my money is not looking after my daughter. It's lining the pockets of her mother and this breaks my heart. Oh my goodness. Yes, I did go straight to the shops and bought her a new pair of school shoes as no way would I let her go tomorrow wearing these. This system is effed. And tell me why I'm paying $380 a week while she drives her hotted up Jeep, smokes and drinks and has fake boobs, but this is what my daughter deals with. That is horrid. That is shameful. I'm, I'm ashamed for you. <laughs> you should be ashamed. Looks like you should fight for full custody, buddy. I'm just saying. Growing up, my parents always gave me <laughs> for being sick in the mornings. What's wrong with you? Are you on drugs? No, mother. That's what happens when you force a lactose intolerant child to drink milk every day. Oh jeez, he's lactose intolerant? I hear we're all a little bit lactose intolerant, like just a bit. Like that's why you fought when you eat cheese. 
I think that's why I fought when I eat cheese. Too much information, too <laughs> bad. My dad charges me $300 a month for rent and refuses to let me move out. After spending the weekend with my boyfriend, I received this. You missed rent this month. It's now $350. What? When was it due? This Sunday. Are you kidding me? Why are you letting me know now? Because I just remembered and you couldn't be bothered to be here on Sunday. Until you get your act together, it's now $350. You realize I could live with boyfriend for less than that and be much happier, right? Shut your... Whoa. Whoa. You're acting like a gullible prostitute and it's completely shameful. You're pathetic if you think you can afford anything of value, grow up. I think you should move out. I think this is a, you should probably leave. <laughs> Sounds like a toxic relationship. So by now, I've spent all of my daughter's college fund money on my Monat business, link in bio. I felt guilty and it's been a rough start, but I know one day I'll climb to the top and my daughter will thank me once Monat makes me a millionaire. Stay positive, boss babes. You're an effing idiot. <laughs> All right, listen, I don't know, I don't, uh, yeah. I actually know someone that signed up with Monat, actually. Monat, Monat, Monate, Monote, Mananes, Bananas. Uh, I know someone that signed up for this quite recently. She's got a kid as well. I don't have the heart to tell her that it's a bad idea, but yeah. Like, I mean, you could have invested that money. <laughs> Your payment is messed up. It works fine for me. So your password to Netflix is blank. Good morning. Can you please just watch YouTube and not harass me about Netflix while I'm in the hospital with my baby? We're having some problems and this is really quite inconsiderate. Netflix works for me. You have my login and password. I don't know how to fix it for you. We are still in the hospital. She lost too much weight and is having problems with jaundice. We will be here until she gains weight. My milk supply came in though, which will help. Great. We got to go home. Maggie finally stopped losing weight and gained an ounce. Cool. Is Netflix really that much more important to you than your sick granddaughter? Are you f***ing serious? Like you can totally tell that her, her mom is just being like so passive aggressive with like her like one word text. Do children deserve apologies and explanations from parents? Like I don't even need to read the response to this. Like how, like why are you even asking that? Yes, they are humans with thoughts and feelings and you're not always correct nor clear just because you're a parent. Mother <laughs> see children as unintelligent slaves though and don't think they deserve basic levels of respect and communication. Yeah, parents also don't need to give you uh, an answer most of the time. Like they don't need to justify the reasoning behind their parenting. You, you ever heard of the- Because I said so. Imagine coming home with your report card and your parents do a react video. React to Oliver's report card. Poor guy. Oh, geez. This is why, I don't know, if I ever had kids, I don't know if I would ever do the um, the kid YouTube channel thing, like the family channel. It's just like that, that kind of stuff. You gotta keep it private, man. They can't make... All right, I gotta go. I gotta go. They wanna be let out. They gotta, they gotta take a pee, so... Subscribe!